so hey what's up guys it's Ray's back to youtube video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to get 60 fps on fortnite mobile on android as you guys know the new update just dropped it's the 19.20 update and uh this video is for this 19.20 update so watch till the end of the video for this to work for you if you don't this will actually not work for you because you have to follow all the steps carefully so please do that and uh yeah so before we actually get into the video i just want to tell you guys a few things that you need to follow in order for this to work so yeah the first thing is you have to uh install both apks like i show in the video you can't just go to the description download apk1 and think it will work for you no it won't you have to follow all the steps in the video so please ju just don't go in the description and download apk1 and just expect it to work magically it won't uh, do whatever i t tell in the video and install both apks for this to actually work and if you want me to bring more fps videos be sure to subscribe to the channel like this video and comment down below what you want next and now let's get straight into the video before even getting into the video all the credits of the method goes to nbz games what you can do is just go to the link in the description subscribe to his channel it's all his methods i'm just showing you guys how to do it because many of you guys are asking me how to do it and i am just here to help you guys so yeah many of my android subscribers want this video so yeah i, I can help you with this so yeah be sure to be subscribed to nbz games the link will be in the description che also check out his videos he's the one who made this method so yeah check him out and now let's just get straight into the video all right so we're back in the video so first of all what you have to do is just head to the link in the description and you'll be on my website then what you can do is there will be two links one will be for the apk1 and other will be for apk2 so what you can do is just uh, download the apk1 and apk2 and then you'll be good to go so download them and then what you have to do is just go uh just go to your file manager and then uh just go to uh, your file thingy and then go to android go to data and then find the fortnite one so com the epic games dot fortnite just uh just hold it and then press on more and then press on rename now what you can do is rename it to anything you want you have to make sure to rename it to something else so for me i'm going to rename it like just to say six epic game six dot fortnite so press ok and then it's going to be saved right there so now what you have to do is just go uh to your home screen and then find fortnite and then just uninstall it don't worry you don't have to download fortnite again uh what we did just before was just save our data files it's the eight gigabytes data file so you don't have to reinstall the game so what you have to do now is just uninstall fortnite so now once you do that what you have to do is just go to file manager and then install the apk one i showed you guys so go to uh, go to downloads and then as you can see apk1 what you have to do is just press on it and then install it so wait for it to install and please do not open it uh, i will show you guys how to open it and stuff but yeah let it install but do not open it okay so as you can see it's installed now so now what you have to do is again go back to the file manager go to file manager and then go to android go to data so android data and then just find com.epicgames.fortnite again whatever you renamed it to then press on uh, rename and then again just uh, remove whatever you just enter so so for me i have renamed it to epic games 6 fortnite you maybe renamed it to epic games 1 but whatever whatever you just renamed it to just set it back to the default so i i added 6 to the name i'm gonna remove it and then press on ok so it's gonna be not, so it's gonna be like normal like before so once you do that you can close your file manager and then open the apk1 just wait for it to set up and everything and open it log into your account i'm gonna do that and i'll be right back all right so have set up fortnite and everything what you have to do is just log into your account and then once you're here what you have to do is just go to the setting menu and then press on settings and then please follow me just set it to 60 fps not 45 fps not 90 fps just set it to 60 fps and then make sure the quality is set to low do that press apply and then do not enter in a game what you have to do now is just uh get out of the game once you do the setting by the way you have to make sure it's on 60 fps and on low and once you do that what you can do is just close this apk now what you have to do is just go back to your file manager and then go to downloads and then just install the application too so apk2 press on it press on install and wait for it to install and then you can just uh open it so i'll wait for the apk to install and yeah so now it's installed so it's installing it's scanning okay so once you do that what you have to do is just open up fortnite 
so now you can open a fortnite and now uh, wait for fortnite to open and also now i will be showing you guys how you actually know if the method will work or not so yeah i'll be right back when fortnite is opened all right so as you can see now i'm loaded up in fortnite so now what do you have to do to know that this method actually worked for you is just go over to settings and if you see option on mobile frame rate it works for you now a disclaimer if you change the mobile frame rate it won't work anymore you have to make sure you don't change mobile frame rate at all so be sure to not change mobile frame rate but you can still change your 3d resolution and also don't change your quality preset so now what i'm, what I'm going to do is just show fps and then uh, it's going to be 30 fps on lobby but i'm going to show you guys um, by playing fortnite uh, seeing if 60 fps works or not so create it uh, i'm just going to press play I'm not going to cut anything because you might think it's fake or something. So yeah, I'm not going to cut any part. I'm just going to be going over to creative. I'll uh, show you if you guys if, if it kicks me out or not. And yeah, let's just wait for it to open. I am not going to cut it because you guys sometimes think it's fake or something. It's actually not. It's really simple stuff. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's open now, and as you can see, 60 FPS. Now my device gets 60 FPS properly because it is more than capable for 60 FPS. I have a Snapdragon 870, so you know it's capable. So yeah, as you can see, it's 60 FPS, and you can play any game you want. Uh, it's gonna be fun, you know. You can play normal battle royale too. I'm just gonna show. I just showed you guys on creative because it's easier to load up on creative. But yeah. The method actually works so yeah thanks for watching guys uh if you want more videos like this be sure to be subscribed to the channel i know a lot of you android players wanted to know this so yeah i got a new video for out for you guys so yeah uh, i'll see you guys in my next video bye